Noise pollution is still an issue on our roads, but it's less about the car's engine these days and more about tyres on the road surface. So how do we deal with that? One solution is being tested in Denmark. Part of the road is being covered with experimental surface material that dampens the tyre noise. If you want to abate traffic noise, you have to abate the tyre road noise by optimising the road surface. And you, you have three parameters. You have the texture, you have the absorption, and you have the elasticity. And the elasticity is one parameter that has not been expl uh, exploited so far. This elastic cover developed by a European research project removes about 85% of the energy of the traffic noise. And if you listen here, you can hear the reduction of around 8 dB, which is quite remarkable. If you wanted to create the same noise reduction, you would need to have a noise barrier of a height of around three meters. So how does the noise dampening road surface actually work? The material that lets rainwater pass through and ensures the sufficient tire adherence is a result of persistent improvements in the laboratory. The paraelastic road material is composed of crushed rubber from used car tyres and crushed granite glued together with polyurethane. Covering roads with recycled tyres isn't a new idea, but previous attempts to use that type of material had serious durability issues and were expensive. We are trying to develop a material that has a high good noise reduction has a good durability, a good price, and also a good friction. Good friction is vital for traffic safety, and that's what's been studied on this road track in Sweden. In winter, this rubber-containing material yields a better grip than normal asphalt. I'm measuring friction with this special car that has a fifth wheel. By lowering the wheel with this button, I can calculate the friction on this special road. The surface is absolutely more expensive than a normal pavement would be, but uh, we think that it should be used as an uh, alternative to noise barriers, and uh, noise barriers are terribly expensive. So we think it could be a viable uh, option in such cases. But will it be durable enough? Researchers use this carousel to simulate years of traffic load on the test surface. It shows how fast the material deteriorates, and how much pollution it produces. So we know that this elastic surface is as durable as normal asphalt. And here we also have measured the amount of dust that is produced. And this pavement is producing less dust than a normal asphalt. Quiet, reliable and environmentally friendly, researchers believe that this material can begin to replace noise barriers across Europe in the near future. Thank you.